Hey guys, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is what we're making today. It's a shadow box card. They're super simple to make. It may not look like it, but it really is. Okay, so the following video was filmed live. Feel free to fast forward, pause it. Um, don't forget there's a free inspiration sheet over on my website that has all the measurements. And if you have any trouble finding it, please let me know. It's usually right below the video box that's over on my blog. And of course, the link to my blog is in the description below if you're watching this video on YouTube. Okay, hope you enjoy the video. Um, okay, so we are using the Timeless Tropical Bundle. So we're using the stamp set. We're using the dies, um, the paper, and even the embellishments. So if this has not been one that's on your, um, on your radar, you might change your mind after today. Maybe. Okay, so supplies. We have two pieces of the, what's the name of this? Tropical Oasis Designer Series Paper. And yes, it's the same paper. You're gonna need two pieces. Then we have some Whisper White for our Stampin', Daffodil Delight, Calypso Coral, Early Espresso, soft suede, pear pizzazz, and old olive. <laughs> I know. It's like, whoa, what is she doing with all that? Okay, and that's what we're going to do first. So we're going to take the tree image. And let me clean that off because you can see that I still have my stamping from yesterday. We're gonna take the pineapple and the hello. I cut my chamois in quarters. It's much more manageable for me. Okay, so let's get all of this out of the way. This is gonna be our piece for stamping. And um, I'm gonna use well, here's all the markers I'm going to use. So, Early Espresso. These are the Stampin' Right markers, not the Stampin' Blends. As much as I love the Stampin' Blends, you need the Stampin' Right to color your images um, on the, you know, to color the rubber. So, I'm using Early Espresso, um, Old Olive, Pear Pizzazz, Pretty Peacock, Daffodil Delight, and Crushed Curry. And on the tree, we're gonna use Old Olive, Pretty Peacock, and Early Espresso. And hopefully I'll get this right the first time. So I'm gonna start with uh, the tree, and I'm just gonna brush on the Early Espresso. And if I get edges of the, um, the tree, I'm okay with that. Uh, trees are not perfect. And now I'm taking the old olive and I'm just gonna brush that on on all of the palms. And then I'm gonna take my pretty peacock and just, just kind of brush a little bit on the tips and then I breathe on it. <laughs> what some people say huff, I say breathe. Okay, there's that. Isn't that pretty? Um, next, we're gonna take the pineapple and I'm gonna take um, Daffodil Delight, Crushed Curry, um, Old Olive, and Pear Pizzazz. Yeah, I know, I know, but it just works. So I'm gonna take the Daffodil Delight and color the pineapple, just brush that on. And then I'm gonna take some of the crushed curry. And you always wanna start with the lighter color. So the same thing with the tops of the pineapple, I'm using the pear pizzazz. And then I'm gonna come in with my old olive. And now breathe on it. Isn't that beautiful? And now the hello, we're actually gonna use Early Espresso. My ink pad needs to be replaced. I usually buy new ink pads during celebration. Um, 
and I'm going to do that the week of the 24th. I might not buy all of them because I haven't used all of them. I usually do, but okay, so I'm going to stamp this there. Is that straight? Not really. Let's try that again. <laughs> hey, wait, let's move it down here closer to my face. That one's straight. Okay. I think that is all the stamping. It is. Okay. So now we're going to get out the, um, well, no, let's do one more thing. I only want to get the big shot out one time, so that's my confusion. So I'm going to take the Simply Scored Scoring Tool and I'm going to score this, making sure the trucks, the panel truck, is on the landscape, so it's five and a half. And I'm gonna score at half an inch and one inch. And I'm gonna do that on both sides. So, ha oops, what row? Half an inch, one inch. Half an inch, one inch half an inch, one inch, okay? Now you're gonna fold on those score lines. Okay, so we're going to be taking the oval, the stitched oval die. You can use any any large oval die that you have. And uh, we're going to be cutting out an oval in the middle. So it doesn't matter which one you cut out, but you want to make sure that you, that you center it on the sides and on the top and the bottom. Okay, so if I use this piece... That's what I'm cutting out. If I use this piece, that's what I'm cutting out. I'm gonna use this one, okay? So now, I think we can get the big shot. Let me recap this again. So we're gonna cut out, or again, let me recap it, period. I never recapped it. I never told you, right? Um, so we're gonna be using the tr palm trees for that one, the pineapple for that one, we're gonna cut out leaves with this one. Aloha with, so these are all the pieces that we're gonna cut. So I'm just gonna get the big shot and we'll get busy. <laughs> so we're gonna start with this one. And like I said, you just wanna make sure that you get it centered. And it's not the end of the world if you don't. You'll just have a crooked focal point. When I made this card last night, I had Brookie come down here and I'm like, okay, is this a cute card or not? I need help deciding. She's like, oh no, it's really cute. She doesn't stamp. I keep hoping that I'm gonna convert her. I didn't paper craft until I was in my 30s, so it's still possible, right? Okay, there's that. We'll save this for a project down the road. Okay, now we're going to cut out. I'll try to get as many of these as I can at one time. So we'll do Aloha and... Okay, there's that one and I think we need another one of those no not that one so put that there this one we'll have to fish out of there um, okay 
there's those. Now we're going to take the Calypso Coral and I know, sorry guys. And then, oh, where's my Aloha? I actually need it because we're gonna cut out a soft suede as well. There we go. Now, put this on here. We only have a couple more to do now. Now we need the old olive for this one. And we want to do the pineapple. I'm going to do the trees last because I have messed up this pineapple more times than I care to admit. And if I mess up... This time, we'll just restamp it. That's still a little crooked, but that will be fine. That's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay, and now our tree, which I almost messed up. And I need to see this, so. Okay, there's that. Okay, now. I think I have all of my pieces. Uh, the only other thing I need to do is I want to take my soft suede ink and I want to take a sponge and just sponge on a little bit of the soft suede on the pineapple. You could do it to the trees as well. We're going to turn this over and this it's going to be like this okay so what i want to do is put adhesive and lay this flat move that over there i'm going to put my adhesive here and here to make sure that the trucks on the back side are are uh, the right side up so that they're not upside down well just gonna you want to get it on there before it dries you want to get it on there straight I should say Now I'm thinking, did I mess up my card? Did I cut it the wrong size? I didn't. I'm just not folding it properly. Okay, so be careful with your liquid glue because I can tell I got a little, a little overzealous with it. Okay, so this is how our card's gonna look. What is it called, a diorama? Diorama, diorama card. So now we're gonna build our stuff in there and all around, okay? So I'm going to flatten it back out, and I'm going to get my silicone mat. 
And now we're going to build everything. <laughs> so I'm going to take the old olive leaf and I'm just going to put a drop of glue right there and then just kind of and then I'm going to take one of these tropical trinkets so we're supposed to be going to Hawaii compliments of Stampin' Up um, in July but I'm wondering if that too is going to be canceled our um, our um, Jamaica trip got canceled two, uh, yesterday two days ago so I'm like oh no I wouldn't be surprised if that one didn't get canceled as well. Okay, there's that element. Now we're going to take, um, oh, that was the wrong leaf. Grr, can I get it back up? <laughs> I know all y'all do that too, right? Please tell me you do. That's what I get for talking. Okay, let me pull that off of there. This is still going to work. Ah, quit sticking to me, though. And we're going to attach this one on top like that. And then we're going to take uh, one of these. We're going to add this to the center like that, okay? So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue. And then it's going to go here on this bunch. Rut row, that didn't stick. Maybe it will now. I don't know, as I was adding layers to this, or adding pieces, I'm like, I don't know, is this overkill? Am I adding too much? If it is, you don't have to add all of them. You can, um, you cannot add them. Okay, so that's that one, that one's done. This one is not done, because we still need to add more. So we're gonna take two pieces of, get back over there, of uh, linen thread. And we're going to tie a little bow. Ruh row. Where's that end? Grr. I messed up. We'll start over. Okay. And that's going to go on there. So I'm going to get a glue dot, which is right here. Now for this one, I just want to add a little bit of liquid glue to the soft suede one so that it will stick to the Early Espresso. I just wanted to create a, a drop shadow effect you don't have to do this, but I just, I don't know. Like I said, I was on a roll of adding a bunch of stuff, and I'm like, okay. I didn't really like how dark the um, early espresso was, and I didn't like how light. Okay, i got to stop talking, or it's not going to stick properly. Here's, now we need our greeting. Oh, goodness gracious. Where'd I put it? Here it is. Okay. So I'm going to slide all this over for a second. I'm going to get out this little mini trimmer that's available uh, with the starter kit right now. If you're wondering what you can cut with it, it is perfect for greeting. It's perfect, perfect, perfect because it's small. So where I stamped the hello, I'm actually going to trim 
the bottom like that and then I'm gonna cut just right above it okay so this gives us littles which I love let me put it back in my drawer here okay so I'm only gonna trim one side with the banner triple punch I'm gonna trim the other one with my scissors so just like that which is kind of sort of crooked I always say I can't cut a straight line and even if you gave me a straight line there we go and then now I'm gonna flag the end huh. and much shorter than that mm shorter again so if you get it too short for yourself you can always take a uh, post-it note and that can hold it for you I know some people have mad skills with their scissors doing this I just am not one of them okay now let's add all of these elements so this one's going to get added right there in the center, and I'm just going to use liquid glue. You could pop it up if you want, but because I'm going to pop up the, um, the greeting that I almost cut too short. Okay, and then this is going to go inside here. So I'm gonna get um, a mini dimensional. Where in the world did I put my take your pick tool? <laughs> Actually, I probably just need one. Okay, now we're gonna add our pineapple over here. So I'm just gonna use a regular dimensional for that one. Aloha is gonna go up here. So I'm just gonna use my liquid glue. Ooh, that's a lot. And then this little grouping is gonna go down here. And same thing, I'm just gonna use a dimensional. Okay, so let me flatten this thing out. Okay, what do you think? <laughs> Pretty cute, right? So it goes flat in a card, just like that. You can mail it in a regular standard envelope, but this is how it looks and it stands perfectly. So who wouldn't wanna look at that scenery all the time? Okay, let me find my original. So I made one slight change from the original one. Um, there's some Calypso coral uh, in the panel trucks. And on my original one, I just used Daffodil Delight. Or maybe I just used, okay, so look, I used Crushed Curry. So that should probably be Crushed Curry and Calypso coral. Yeah, so, but they're the same other than that element right there cute, right? Okay, y'all have a great day. Thank you so much. See you later.